There you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Oh, happy Resurrection Day. And for you young folks, happy Easter. If you looked at the news, Mr. Biden has changed the name to Trans Visibility Day. So there you go, guys. <laughs> this guy won't stop. He won't stop. So he even went as far as calling it Trans Visibility Day. Mr. Biden, I don't care what you say, but there's only one man that can transform you. Okay, one man. And that's my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes! He's the only one. That's the only transformer that I will embrace. Everybody else, everybody you're trying to pander to, all those freaks and weirdos, you could do all that. You could change names and all that. Only one transformer. Okay? My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, there you go. Have at it, sir. Anyway, in other news, we have the great Lizzo. Miss Lizzo is trending. And so I had to go through the news feed and see what's going on with it. Apparently, she's calling it quits. She had enough of the music industry. I'll take a word for it, but I really don't believe her. You know, this past weekend in New York City, there was four presidents in one sitting. Four presidents. Miss Trump was down the street honoring a fallen officer and the other three was doing a fundraiser biden clinton and obama was down the street trying to get some more money out of folks all right to have a photo op with the big three was a hundred thousand dollars and is doing his fundraiser at a at a black event hosted by queen latifah what and Miss Lizzo's MC. All right, getting a hundred thousand dollars for a photo op. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So Lizzo, she goes on stage and she do her song, but you notice there's no dancers with her because all the dancers are suing her for fat shaming and sexual harassment. So she's on stage and she still looks weird, you know, with the with the drum set and the guitarist, and she's just singing her her one hit wonder. So the crowd inside the, the the theater was half full and the people that was in there were hecklers and protesters. Outside the venue, they had more protesters, pro Hamas, pro Hamas folks. They were out there, you know, cat calling and calling Joe, genocide Joe. It got so bad that Barack Obama had to come on and try to tamper the crowd down. But nobody want to hear that, you know, nobody want to hear them. Three of the big, the big three presidents, Barack, Biden, and Clinton, and they still couldn't have a full out crowd. So 
And this is right there. She's struggling. She's trying to, you know, make some money after the, the fallout. And she goes home and she's checking her socials and they're going in on her. You know, why are you supporting Genocide Joe? Uh, you know, your fat ass to go somewhere and be somebody. All this, you know, and she had enough. Miss Lizzo, I don't know if nobody told you, but if you want to be in this game, you have to have a thick skin, not a thick waistline. Okay, uh. so you tried it. You try to walk around with a fake bravado. I'm a bad bitch and big, big, big girl and I'm going to get Captain America. Shut up. Shut up. Now you can't even handle your social medias. They going in on you and you had to tap out and call it quit. No. Okay. Where's your fan base? Where's your fan base? We got uh, uh Queen Bee. She got the, the beehive, right? Cardi B got her fans. What do they call them? I don't know. And Nicki Minaj, the barbs. Where's the hippos at? Lizzo, where are your hippos? Where are your fan base at? Then they strung out to dry. Right? You're supposed to have your backup. Oh, wait. Your backup is the one that is trolling you. It's so funny that your, your supporters, your Democrat supporters, are the one that's going after you. Not the Republicans. Not the GOPs. They're not fat shaming you. They're not even listening to your music. It's your people that is talking records about you. All right. Now, poor Lizzo, she's out there with these presidents. We have Joe Biden over here trying to smell your hair. You got Bill Clinton trying to proposition you. Oh, and my. The one that you want, Barack Obama, you're not his type, you know? Matter of fact, Joe Biden just called it a trans visible day. So figure that out. No. <laughs> You're not his type. Anyway, poor Lizzo. Mm. She called to quit. She don't play no more. She just want to make music. And, and she did not sign up for this. All this extra stuff. All right. But you wanted the paycheck. <laughs> Somebody should have told you, you want to be famous? This comes along with the game. Okay, you got the trolls, you got your haters, and, and you got the people, thin, thin people who don't like your fat ass. That's part of the game. But I hope you learn a lesson out of this. I hope you learn a lesson out of this. There's no L's. There's just a lesson learned, right? So I hope you figure this out. Take your one hit wonder, cash out your chips, go get a house in the country somewhere, drop some kids. And lay low. Okay. Lay low. Bye-bye. Right? But if you come back out of here again, we got something for you. <laughs> well, not me. I love your music. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you got some value out of my content. And if you do, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And you see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> Look at you, girl. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you big girls, why don't you back it up and get off my lawn?